What's up guys? So as some of you know, I recently built a new desktop PC with a Threadripper CPU in it. Please don't bully about my cable management. I haven't actually tried to really manage them yet since I still have a graphics card to put into this new system. Uh, but anyway, one of the downsides to using a CPU like this is that it produces a whole lot of heat, but that's pretty much taken care of with these two CPU fans, even though AMD recommends using liquid cooling. But the real reason that this CPU produces so much heat is because there's so much electricity going through it. The power consumption of this thing is about six to 13 watts per core, depending on how many cores you have loaded. And it has a TDP of around 280 watts. And again, that is just the power that the CPU is using. That's not even including case fans, CPU fans, and other components that would be using electricity and obviously run my electricity bill up as well. Now, of course, it uses a lot less power when it's idling versus when you're actually doing work on it. Uh, but this new box, it still uses a lot more power at idle than my old one with an Intel 4790K inside, which I'm probably going to end up turning into a NAS. So because of this, I decided to start suspending my PC whenever I go to sleep or whenever I go to run some errands or I'll just be away from it for a while. And I don't have any work for it to do. I don't have any compiling or rendering jobs for the computer to run. Now, suspend, in case you didn't know, is when your computer saves the system state to RAM, and then it goes into a very low power mode, but you can wake it up really quickly, usually just by pressing a key on your keyboard, and it doesn't have to go from the boot through the boot sequence, uh, and you can usually keep all of your programs open and they'll still function without any issues. So it's a very convenient way to save power on your computer without actually having to shut it down, uh, and Windows and Mac OS have equivalences to these as well. Uh, so to get to the point of this video, I noticed an error when I would wake from suspend and then try to record on my screen with OBS. Same thing if I try to render a video in Caden Live using NVEC. Uh, so I can actually show you guys what that looks like. So it just gives rendering crash and then you get this uh, output in this error log here. And like I said, I first noticed it with OBS and it was kind of throwing me off for a while because it would only happen if I recorded something previously with OBS, like earlier that day, and then I suspended to PC and then woke it up and then tried to record something new again. Uh, so pretty annoying. And of course, closing OBS and reopening it doesn't fix it. That would be <laughs> too easy of a fix. So this is kind of like the typical NVIDIA on Linux bullshit that we have to deal with. But you can actually fix this pretty easily by just reloading the NVIDIA module in your kernel. So I'll show you guys how that works. Uh, so I'll open my terminal, make it nice and big so you can see it. And then you just got to use these two commands. So sudo rmod nvidia uvm and sudo mod probe nvidia uvm so you're unloading it and then you're reloading it so we'll hit enter and enter our root password let me see module nvidia uvm is in use okay this must be because i still have caden live open so let's do this clean up remove job and you know what? why don't we just quit out of caden live completely all right. Huh, still getting it. Okay. Um, let's figure out what is using NVIDIA UVM then. Oh, huh. would you look at that? It's um, OBS is using it. Okay, so I guess I have to actually close OBS, even though I'm using software X264 to record it. Still using the NVIDIA module. So let me uh, just close this and come back. Okay, I'm back. No funny business. Just had to uh, clear the terminal, ran this uh, LSOF again to make sure that NVIDIA was done running, and I was finally able to run the uh, module reload successfully. So let's uh, open this. And then I'll show you now that it's working. So render, reusing. NVEC, 
And, um, well, I don't need to show you guys the script option for NVEC. And you'll see that now it is indeed rendering and it is using my GPU to do the render. Um, so same thing with OBS. If you restart it, you can then switch back to using NVEC and everything is going to work perfectly. Uh, and obviously it doesn't require you to restart your PC, which would be pretty lame. The whole point of using suspend is to avoid having to shut down and then wait for the computer to reboot in the morning. Uh, now, if you're still having some problems, chances are you just need to reload the DRM mode set and, um, or the DRM and the mode set modules as well. Uh, but like I said, just using this simple command to uh, reload NVIDIA UVM was enough for me, enough to fix it on good old Artix Linux. So should be good enough for you as well. Hope you found this video useful. Like and comment, tag the algorithm. Have a great rest of your day.